Dr. Claus, as usual, everything we discuss is for educational purposes only and cannot replace the opinion of your personal primary care physician. Of course, your primary care physician should be consulted before starting any new medications or supplements. Having said that, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to discuss the ECA stack. So what is the ACA stack? The ACA stands for ephedrine, caffeine, and aspirin. And when these compounds are taken together, they found to work synergistically for fat burning. Now, the main ingredient, ephedrine, is the active ingredient for fat loss. Now, how does it work for fat loss? Well, when we take ephedrine, it causes us to release catecholamines. Now, catecholamine, that's a big fancy word. What does that mean? Well, catecholamines are adrenaline and epinephrine. When these elements are released in the body, they tell our body to burn more energy to produce more heat. In specific, they try and tell our fat, our brown fat, to burn more energy for heat. And then, that, in turn, that burns more calories. So if that if veteran works that way, then why do we need caffeine or aspirin at all? Well, the problem is, is when the catecholamines are initially released, that action in itself causes it to block any further catecholamines from being released. So when we take the caffeine, the caffeine actually blocks that block. Essentially what that means is, is that we are allowing more catecholamines to be released and that nothing's going to stop it from releasing more catecholamines. So basically when we take the caffeine, it, it causes a synergistic effect with the ephedrine. Now the reason we take aspirin is similar to the reason why we take caffeine. It helps ephedrine do its job. So, having said that, that means if all these two are taken together, they will help enhance the thermogenic benefits of ephedrine itself. In a recent study, the average weight loss over a five month period in obese individuals was 5.4 kgs, and one individual actually lost a total of 66 kgs over a 13 month period. The only additional thing he did was added a caloric restriction in his diet. That wasn't even the most interesting thing. The most interesting thing about the study was, and let me grab it so I don't say anything. The most interesting thing was that in all studies, no significant changes in heart rate, blood pressure, blood glucose, insulin, and cholesterol levels, and no difference in frequency of side effects were found. ECA in these doses is thus well tolerated in otherwise healthy obese subjects and supports modest, sustained weight loss even without prescribed caloric restriction and may be more effective in conjunction with restriction of energy intake. Basically what that means that when these, med when these elements are taken together responsibly, there is very little negative effect on the body. Keep in mind that does not replace the personal opinion of your primary care physician. Now, having said all that, what are these responsible doses to take in? And how do I take the ECA staff? Well, they should be taken in three equal doses throughout the day. And of course, when you're starting off, start off with maybe just one or two doses to see how you can tolerate the medications. So you start off with taking a baby aspirin, which is an 81 milligram aspirin. The aspirin is only taken once a day. The reason for that is aspirin lasts for 24 hours when it's taken. The second medication is the ephedrine, which is taken in 24 or 25 milligram doses. That is taken up to three times a day. And then the caffeine is taken in 200 milligram doses, and that's taken up to three times a day as well. So if you're looking to get those summer shreds, this might be what you're looking for. Till next time, I'm Dr. Claus.